Good to see you back, Director. We're about to arrive at the Burning Moon Festival. It's operated by an old fellow, Leonard Moon. A notorious eccentric and, reportedly, rather neurotic in the not-so-good sense. Besides an awful amount of noise, chemicals, rampant fornication, and various other sapient indulgences, I can't even begin to imagine what more we might encounter. You know, once upon a time, Mr. Ryan was nearly decapitated at one of these things. Total madhouse. Director, welcome to the show. I am pleased to report that our acoustic barriers are fully engaged and we are thus safe from any potential cerebral hemorrhaging. The dull thump, thump, thump you can hear is coming from the Burning Moon Festival. Named for, well, I suppose you can look out the window. Wow, it's so bright. Uh, Heel, why are they setting the moon on fire? Medi, it's just one of life's many thrilling mysteries. Get the mop. Our contract is for the duration of the festival, which is split between various acts. I'll pop that information up on the objectives window. We're expecting calls from Leonard Moon, the festival's owner, as the revelries develop. Wow, man, that's a turnout. I'm gonna give a big wet hug to all the planets and people in the galaxy. If you don't set something on fire, I am gonna kick you out. All right, love you. Bye. Yes, that'll be him. Wonderful chap. A very clever and handsome fellow, by all accounts. Never met him myself. Wow, hey, um, so things are already popping off down here, and some kind of metal situation has happened, but not in a good way. We kind of want to get this cleared up before people start getting spooked that the festival is dangerous or something. So yeah, uh, oh, 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 open up when you can, please. And thanks a bunch. It does look rather gnarly down there, Director. Though, now that I think of it, Ms. Orion has been working on a rather illuminating new piece of technology. Laser surgery. Scalpels weren't cutting it, so to speak. So, we switched over to high-intensity mining lasers to handle some of the crustier conditions people come down with. As it turns out, having industrial energy devices blasting away at your skin made people anxious. So I also took the initiative to make it a kind of immersive musical experience. Kind of like dressing up an MRI machine as a pirate ship. I'm not sure how Ms. Orion managed to turn lasers into a healthcare solution, but here we are. Let's build some so that we can treat our incoming patients. We are ready to open up at your command, Director. Patients await, Director. Ah, oh, excellent. I'll let Mr. Moon know that we're operating and ready to receive patients from the festival. Oh, hey, you guys are open now. Apparently, that's that's good, actually, because people are, like, dying down, down here. My security guards are going to try and get them up to you, but a lot of them are very heavy from having metal all over their face, so we'll get them to you when we can. Thanks. Our first patients are arriving now, Director. 
Should they have access to a reception desk and a diagnosis room, they may begin their adventure of not prematurely dropping dead. So we got all the people who got encased in liquid metal rounded up, and they've been, like, aggressively shoved into your shells. Uh, so they're on their way now. Please fix them. Uh, we need their post-festival reviews for our socials. Thanks. Dying. with liquid metal have just arrived. Our first patients are beginning to arrive, and some of them are species we've not yet encountered. Ms. Orion's uploaded a couple of dossiers for us to get acquainted with. The Dye and I are a plant-based species. They're often loners, vagrants, artists, explorers, and their family dynamic has a lot to do with their isolation. They're created by a living planet. It won't talk to them. It won't give them purpose. They just pop out of the ground without a reason for their existence. Despite their solitary nature, other species really, really like being around them. Pheromones are something, who knows? Kuba Bali. These hearty sauroids are patient, precise, and durable. They rarely need a break, and it takes their bladders an almost supernaturally long time to fill up. So there's that. They adore order, and live in discreet tribes, or with their own rituals, which have been brought into a cultural structure known as concatenated ordering. The exact details of how that all works aren't entirely understood, but it seems to work for them, so more power to them. We're in debt. are just lasering the metal off our crowd? That's so cool, I'm not even sure if I care if they die. I guess we hired the right people, huh? 
Galactica, it's me again. I'll wait here until you're ready. Half of those guys are better now, which is great. Also, they were in the cheap seats, so if you kind of want to take a break, I'm sure it'll be fine. To the loom for me, Galactica. handling that emergency. It's in the bag. Uh, Mr. Moon is apparently occupied by his exhausting labors, but he's provided a pre-recorded message for you. I'll play it now. In the event that you guys do a great job, hey, wow, great job. Thanks for doing uh, whatever it is you did. Uh, I'm sure it'll be great for the festival. Thanks, here's money. Um, goodbye. Receiving another call from our client. There's an issue with a singer, apparently. Well, hey, it's me again. Um, so one of our headline acts, Twiggy Pop or something, is sick like big time. She's already finished her set, so it's not the worst thing if she dies, I guess. It wouldn't be great for our media coverage, though, so please keep her alive for like two hours or so. Thanks. Yes. What a delightful fellow. Uh, Director, when it comes to VIP treatments, the faster we treat the patient concerned, the better our rewards will be. It's probably worth pulling out all the stops to make sure Twiggy gets the best and fastest treatment possible. noise in the galaxy. Mary, you have no idea who this person is. Welcome to the station, ma'am. A machine, huh? Well, nice to meet you, mate. So, looks like I ran into Festicrosis bacteria at the festival, and it's eaten off about half my face. Any chance you could fix this? Of course. We'll get your ailment seen to as quickly as we can. Assuming we have seats, you're welcome to sit in one of them. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks. Why does everything smell of chlorine? So, you found out what's wrong with her? Some kind of flesh-eating bacteria? Okay, great. Keep that to yourselves, please. I know nothing about it, and this conversation never happened. Hello, Galactica. Oh, 
my feet. Die. Uh, get I. I'm off to catch up with the news. Oh, Struth. Thanks for keeping me alive and everything. The music scene is a mess of dodgy contracts and corporate control. And I'd rather do something more meaningful with my life. Seems like you guys know what you're doing, and I used to be a doctor. So I want to join up. I've sent your machine my resume. Hey, director. I'm Twiggy Pop. I started life as a doctor, working in the core regions. Tough gig, but it's mainly pr also people really like my singing. Not sure why, but it makes anyone nearby. Anyway, that's me. Thanks for taking me on, director. It's nice to get back to doing. Welcome to the team, Doctor Pop. Oh, thanks, little guy. All right, I'll go get changed. Any chance of a cappuccino? I don't think that exists, but I'll try. Director, we've acquired our first consultant. They're permanent additions to your team traveling with us from hospital to hospital. Let's open the consultant window to bring Dr. Pop in now. This is our consultant roster, which will allow us to bring consultants into the hospital. Let's bring Dr. Pop into the hospital now. And there she is. Hey, Director. Glad I can get down to work. Uh, Medi, how's that coffee looking? I'm sorry, Twiggy, but Heel says coffee is illegal and that we'd all die. I said nothing of the sort. Director, consultants are quite different from our other staff members. Let's inspect Dr. Pop to find out more. Uh, Dr. Pop, like all consultants, is a remarkably effective clinician who can expertly operate any of our rooms. As consultants earn experience, they gain powerful, unique abilities. And sometimes you need to make hard choices as to which ones they acquire. You can see the perks Twiggy has in her skill tree. And that's everything you need to know about that. Let's get cracking, shall we? Hey, um, I got a message from Twiggy that everything went okay with her treatment, which sounds good. Uh, and also that she's quit the music business, so I have seven executives here who are using circular breathing to shriek non-stop like a ghoul. Ask her, um, not to do that, maybe. Thanks. Director, Dr. Pop is calling about a psychotic break amongst the festival goers, which, judging by the current set list, seems entirely justified. Director, it seems people are falling prey to some kind of psychosis. A fear of space flight or something? They're on their way, and they're just constantly screaming inside the ambulance. Ah, a psychological condition. Ms. Orion's been preparing for this eventuality. She'll be in touch with the details. The Dreamarium! So, we arranged a trade deal with the planet ruled by psychic clams. In exchange for an unknown quantity of an unknown substance, they've lent us their services as therapists, basically, with a doctor as an intermediary. These creatures can dive into the depths of our patients' minds, rearrange their neural networks, and slurp out any lingering negative emotion. No issue so far. And the treatments have proven incredibly effective in testing. Sure would be nice to remember what our contract with the clams was, though. Sounds like it might do the trick. Once we've got some of those rooms set up, I'll dive right in. Could be kind of trippy. Hello there. I hope you're all well. Some patients with the aforementioned space phobia have arrived. Or, oh, <laughs> wait, uh, how about space fright? 
Seems like you guys enjoy a good pun around here. Well, <laughs> I just think that's wonderful. Space fright. Uh, spectacular work, Miss Pop. Thanks, Heel. Oh, yes. No, not at all. Mm, space fright. Hey guys, uh, so some randos decided to weld rocket boosters to some asteroids and I couldn't stop them and now a space rocket's headed straight towards your station. Uh, sorry man, good luck with all that stuff. Director, it looks like the festival isn't the only place to find rock and roll. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Uh, we've taken on significant damage from the impact. You use a clam to suck out their bad vibes? Wow, I wasted so much money on therapy. Um, I hope it's legal. I'm not a narc, mostly. But yeah, cover your ass. It seems like the psychic clam stuff's going pretty okay. You know, I was married to someone who thrived on absorbing negative energy. Uh, that came out wrong. That was supposed to be a burn. Never mind. Hey, sorry about the ex-wife thing. I've actually never been in a relationship and I don't know why I lied to you about it. Uh, can I come up there? There's stuff I'd like your mollusk to make not happen in my brain anymore. That's gone excellently, Director. The Dreamarium is working a charm and none of the patients seem to have any permanent loss of function. The room is now approved for long-term use. Another job well done. We're blazing along. Warm greetings to you all. Browse away. Ooh, that one's new. Remember to claim your awards whenever you're ready, Director. I think I brought you the right bits. If not, it might just be bog rolls and videotapes. Having a gander. It looks like we picked up a cleanliness beacon. It projects an energy field which dissolves problematic waste, trash and so on. Testing did suggest that tooth enamel isn't necessarily safe either, so I'll keep an eye on our complaints box. Director, Ms. Orion is calling in. Something about the wonders of Craftium. She's, uh, quite excited. Cool. 
Lactium. It's a wonder material that does exactly what it says on the tin. And I should know. I named it Craftium. <laughs> I like to think that one was a stroke of brilliance. You can use it to recreate practically anything you've seen, even rare craft Like that cleanliness beacon you just acquired. Open up your inventory and let's have a browse of what we can make. First, select the crafting mode to begin the process. Now, craft anything you like. One brand spanking new, uh, well, I can't see what you've made, but I'm sure it's great. Craftium, so cool. Now, I've got one more thing for you. The research lab. It's got a big old supercomputer. Your doctors can use it to improve our craft tech blueprints or gain new insights into any of the conditions. We used to hook their consciousness directly to the computer, but, well, it occasionally created a nightmare portal which trapped their minds in a digital. All right, that's enough sapient interaction for one day. Catch you later, Director. Let's give that new research lab a spin, Director. Place one down and we'll see if we can't suss it out. The research lab is capable of two distinct functions, generating insight into conditions and upgrading our craft tech blueprints. Let's upgrade one now. Select the research lab and in the research interface, select a blueprint to upgrade. With the blueprint selected, our doctors will begin to develop the improved version. This new and improved blueprint will dramatically reduce the crafting cost, but unfortunately it's attuned specifically to the station we're currently on. You'll need to complete the research again in each new hospital. The research lab can also boost our research efforts into any condition of your choosing. This will generate some research directly. It also generates insight into conditions. Insight greatly increases the research generated for that condition whenever you have it stockpiled. Shockingly, it's Leonard Moon again, calling about another ailing musician. Oh my god, there's another whole musician who is now dying for no reason except to make this whole festival a waking nightmare. Can you fix him, please? His name is Clem Bansig, and he's a coital tyrannosaurus, which, which probably has something to do with all this, but I don't judge, and neither should you, or anybody. If I want to slop around with roadies until my flaps catch fire, that's up to me and the creator. Clem, I mean, the thumb. If Clem wants to do those things. Look, just get him back to us, okay? There's too much on the line for it all to be taken down by Bansig's love for the fizzy pump. I'll give you lots of money and goodbye. Hello! It's me again. Pick that up just for you. I hope none of that's illegal. Heal! That VIP just arrived! He's shaking like an aging pirate. Oh yes, sir. I, Clem Bansig, am badly diseased from my many fallacious adventures. Actually, sir, it seems like you might have just had too many energy drinks. Oh, uh, uh I didn't think you'd actually know. Please, uh, don't, don't, don't tell anybody. Naturally. Yes, patient confidentiality is vital in our line of work. Clem got diagnosed? An addiction to energy drink? Huh. I don't know why I thought it was something venereal. 
Branding, probably. Honestly, I don't even know if cougars have anything down there. They could be like mushrooms or something. Some super Reddit Bansic fans have begun throwing bricks at security. I don't know where they're even finding bricks. If you could, you know, hurry up, that'd be really cool. Oh man, I feel way better now. Now I can get back to uh, romping again, which I do all the time, just so you know. Good for you, sir. Best of luck. Okay, I might have chewed off my fingers while I was waiting for you to fix this, but you got it done! Thanks! Uh, the festival isn't ruined, and I'm gonna send you some money. Oh, Galactic Jam. Got to tell ya. I had a handful of two cans of toxin energy squirreled away in uh, somewhere. Uh, I figured I'd donate them to you, Considering they're so tasty and fizzy and all, and caffeinated. And it gets your mind going, and you start to vibrate, and, uh, oh, I miss it already. Hey, can we just turn this shuttle around? I'm old. Our new pal, Leonard Moon, is shrink- Hey, are you medical guys any good at the cyber? Because we have issues with the cyber, and if you don't do something, I'm going to have a panic attack. Mr. Moon, I, I'm not entirely sure that our contract covers- It covers it. I put it in there. Holograms are just as important as the musicians to me, man. They're people. It's in the contract. You have to believe me. Please! Director, holograms can't be covered because they don't actually exist. That said, it, it's probably worth doing this so that our client doesn't cork it before he can pay us. So, that means we'll be performing healthcare on the lights, using our trusty canisters, of course. What we'll need to do is take the canisters, cart them over to laser surgery, and shoot them with the lasers until they're so full of lasers that we can do healthcare on the lights. Hello, Galactica. It's me again. The canisters are ready to be thoroughly lasered. Oh my god, the lights are still out? Oh no, I think I'm dying. Not like this. No. no. Ah. As, I'm... I'm sure he's fine, Director. That they are, robot. Our treatment canisters are ready to be delivered down to the festival. I've been talking to them a bit, and they seem kind of weird, but nice. You've been talking to them. I'm fairly sure that nobody's home. Please help me. Yeah, we've been sharing data. Being a motorized tube seems hard on people. 
How long will they be gone? Well, uh, the energies involved will totally atomize them on delivery, so, you know, a while. Oh. Yes, yes, terrible. Uh, wave goodbye to your friends, Maddie. And away they go. What a thrill. Oh, good, you're still here. Uh, do I seem any younger? I'm in a new body and I feel gorgeous. Anyway, we see your canisters coming and they're full of lasers. Uh, great, good luck. And somehow, Leonard Moon has returned. What a thrilling twist. <laughs> wow, that worked. You've officially saved my ass. The holograms are back on, and everyone's vibing and stuff. Thanks! I'm sure you're eager to claim your awards, Director. Spend it all in one place. I know how you Terrans can get with money. Sorry, I I don't know why I said that. Uh, I'm going through a bad divorce, and my dog has bubonic plague. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not normally racist. It's the stress. Sorry. Leonard Moon is having old problems by the sounds of it, and not just personal. Oh, hey! Hi, um, so you ever have one of those days where it feels like an evil spirit is trying to harass you into a psychotic break? Anyway, um, all four members of the band, the Exolodes, are about to die soon from burns they decided to get as a prank, I guess. And if you can't heal them, uh, please just eat them or whatever you people like to do. I'm, like, totally done with this. Thanks. Is this it? Hello, Galactica. Director, the Exilos are now stepping off the shuttle. We'll be able to experience the full richness of old culture. How exciting. Wow! This is amazing! Cool spot, man! I am dying big time! Yeah. It's always about you, right? Don't you care that Bim is in an anxiety spiral and has no toilet to be in? Whoa! That's a harsh and unhealthy form of mind reading and catastrophizing that I'm just, like, not into. It's fine, Tim. I'm sure I'll find somewhere to hang out. You've got to stop letting Jim walk over you all the time, man. I'll get you a max caffeine, and then you can chill out a little. Bro, I am not great with this common drama triangle situation. Whoa, look at that power fluids on the floor. I'm gonna drink that like right now. Hmm. Whoa, I thought I was 
was screwed. But then these eight people did a whole bunch of hell stuff to my awful body. And now I can do music again. Wild! still alive. I feel good, like, physically. You guys have any stuff for being in a dark spiral of anxiety and self-doubt? Electrocute my brain or something? Afraid not. Good day, sir. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Bye. Greetings to you. Man, I feel so good. I might even try and raise my arms above my head again. Thanks, help people. This has been really pretty okay. You're entirely welcome, my elderly friend. I look forward to hearing your performance. Wow. Really? Good luck to you, Mr. Clyde. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, the exolodes are still not here, and that's bad news for me, but even worse news for my therapist. Please fix this. Please, please fix this. Please. Oh, man. I feel like I could chuck myself out. I haven't been in this good shape for like 300 years now. Thanks for the new mojo, health people. Oh, man, you... Treating them all? Okay, cool. I mean, it, it took a while, but I was kind of thinking they'd all die out there. Hey, thank you. This has really made my day. Leonard Moon is in a tears of race. No! No! The final act, the headliner, the colossal musician, they got a disease that melted their skin off. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Oh my god. I think I'm dying. Am I dying? I feel like I'm being electrocuted. You've got to fix this. Please! Hello, Galacticare. Well, hello there. I don't believe we've been introduced. Gazria, for the purposes of this event, Baz has a lot to say about you. Seems to think you might be capable of great things. Sorry for the inconvenience of my affliction, but I wanted to see if you're all he's made you out to be. It's quite funny to screw around with Leonard Moon, and I figured that having his headliner get half consumed would give his heart a real kick. Oh, this does hurt rather a lot more than I thought it would, though. Having your skin rapidly eaten away isn't my idea of an interesting night. Any chance of a hand? Well, I, uh, I certainly don't see why not. Well, this has turned out to be rather interesting. Word gets around, eh? As before, we'll need to dispatch a shuttle to take a tissue sample, and from there figure out the best way to treat Gazria's rotting flesh. Dispatch one when you're ready. The shuttle has been launched. The sample has been collected and the ambulance is on its way back. Let's get it over to diagnosis.
place. So we just got done analysing the sample and the damage is pretty gnarly. She's been devoured by the same bacteria I was. Hello! Treatment canisters are deploying now. If we can run them through skin lab and laser surgery, we should be able to patch her up. Yes. Uh, uh, pardon? The treatment canisters. The colossal? Laser surgery? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, terribly sorry. Uh, paper for a new fusion train design was just released. Uh, rather distracting. What? Nothing at all. Uh, good luck in there and so on. Right then. Back to the road for me. Director, lag sites have been spotted in the station. The canisters have been processed and are ready to have a crack at Gazria's dreadful meat situation. Spectacular! Let's get them shipped off. Launch the shuttle when ready, Director. I think Baz might have been right. Honestly, I haven't felt better since before this moon was formed. Shame what they're doing to it. Still, I can get close to them and begin to understand their minds, so I'll take what I can get. You're some good eggs, Galactic Hair. Take care of yourselves, and watch out for the debris! Looks like we're all done. Let's check in with Gazria. Oh wow, oh that was perfect. I guess I never had anything to worry about. Uh, thanks for all the health care you did, and here's a shipload of credits. I gotta go prep for the big finale. Toodles! Thank you for sticking with us. We're about to blow the biggest damn hole in this burning moon since the festival began. Get ready to ring in the end times with all the other delinquents out there. Because it's fun. Because it's wild. And just because we f can. Behold! I hope you're all well, that's uh 
that's quite something. I'm sure everyone's fine, Director. I, uh, I suppose I'll update Galactica's chart of the system to, uh, remove the moon. Well, that's all you're up for, Director. I and the other staff can take care of the after-party for you if you'd rather head off. Our next contract awaits, whenever you'd like to get us out of here. Well done, by the way. That went rather well, I thought. Your choice, Director. We can stick around here and bask in the glory of our spanking new hospital, or we can move on to our next job.